Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I am Sunil Ergop. In this tutorial, we are going to see what is Azure Data Factory. So this tutorial is going to be very useful for all the data analysts, data engineers and data scientists. So without any further delay, let's start the tutorial on Azure Data Factory. Now let's understand the definition of Azure Data Factory. Okay. Uh, as I have written here, Azure Data Factory is a cloud-based data integration service okay, that orchestrates data movement and transformation okay, that orchestrates data movement and transformation between diverse data sources. As I told earlier, we are getting data from diverse sources like databases, files, different uh, computer systems. Okay that is diverse data sources okay between diverse data sources and uh, cloud compute resources okay cloud compute resources like azure data storage uh, virtual machines these are all cloud resources okay at scale so this is the definition uh, let me revise it that azure azure data factory is a cloud based data integration service that orchestrates data movement and transformation between diverse data sources and cloud computing resources at scale so this is azure data factory uh, as you can see in the picture the data integration challenge we have a challenge that is data integration how do we integrate data so uh, let's understand this picture uh, azure data factory what problem does it solve okay uh, let us understand what is the problem here the big data we are getting the data uh, that is big data from different streams okay uh, for example uh, we get data from databases uh, different type of files and devices uh, that data is raw data unorganized data stored in relational non relational and other storage systems so this data is not organized uh, it is stored in relational and non relational other storage systems okay so now what is the uh, what action we can do we need we need actionable business insights okay uh, the data analyst need actionable business insights but raw data lacks correlating context for analysis okay uh, it is it is unorganized okay uh, we need to organize this raw data so that we can draw some insights and uh, we can generate reports for further analysis okay so uh, this data goes into data ingest and data transformation okay uh, using azure data factory we can ingest this data from different sources that is databases files devices and then we can transform transform this data okay so this is the uh, data factory process uh, you can see here uh, data factory is ingesting data from diverse data sources and durations okay let's take a scenario okay there is a game development company okay there is a game development company uh, what they have they have petabytes they have petabytes of game log data in the cloud okay they have petabytes of game log data in the cloud and what they want to do okay they want to analyze this data uh, to form actionable insights into its customers okay it wants to analyze this data and form actionable insights into its customers so that they can improve the customer game experience okay so uh, they want to make it make game preferences the company wants to analyze gaming preferences player demographics and user behaviors okay now uh, so uh, if if the company wants to do this uh, what are the uses why the company wants to do this ana analysis okay so that they wants to develop new features improve player experience upsell cross sell and drive business growth okay they wants to drive business growth so now there is a data analyst okay uh, what 
what i need what is required for a data analyst okay see now uh, data analyst need reference data from uh, the company's on prem services okay there is uh, he needs reference data such as customer information marketing campaign and game metadata okay these these data they need from on prem uh, the game the game development companies on prem services okay and now the data analyst wants to combine it with gameplay logs from the cloud this gaming company generates lots of logs when the player is playing a game they generate logs and they are stored in the cloud okay so they an data analyst wants to combine it with the gameplay logs from the cloud game gameplay logs such as gameplay behaviors success failure rates okay now uh, now what a data analyst must do okay see here here uh, now what what a data analyst must do they should collect data from sources sources such as on premises and cloud okay then they will process data to transform it they will process process that data to transform it and publish data into warehouse for analyst they first transform it then they publish that data into warehouse for analyst okay now what this uh, azure data factory will do the azure data factory will automate this workflow okay it will automate this workflow then trigger it by an event manually okay uh, in azure data factory there is something called as trigger i'll explain it later okay using that trigger they can trigger it manually or they can uh, schedule that trigger okay monitor and manage the schedules okay and at last they want to monitor and manage daily schedules okay so uh, this all this is possible by using azure data factory okay now let's move forward now let's see how does adf work you can see in this board there is a lot of information so uh, pay your attention carefully okay so uh, there is a one user uh, she wants to know so can you tell me what adf does at a high level so she wants to know what it adf does at a high level okay so now uh, let's break it down okay the first step is connect and collect okay uh, you can see this diagram this this is pipeline okay azure pipeline i'll explain pipeline later okay so first step is build an information production system to connect all data sources and adapt ingest in their diverse intervals and speeds okay uh, so for this first uh, step we need connectors so what are we doing in this first step uh, in the first step uh, we are collecting data from disparate data stores okay so different data stores uh, we are connecting and collecting the data okay so uh, the second step is uh, collect all data in a centralized location to facilitate processing okay so the next step is uh, you can uh, call it as copy activity so in this step uh, we are collecting the data in a centralized location uh, to process it so that uh, that term is called as transformation the processing uh, is called as transformation okay so that activity is copy activity the uh, next one is uh, you can see three number uh, transform the collected data using actions to aggregate filter clean etc okay uh, so uh, what we do next uh, the step is transform and enrich uh, we want to transform this data and enrich so uh, transform collected data using actions okay uh we can use code free ui based mapping data mapping okay so we can either use ui user interface or we can use compute resources uh to do it by hand okay 
we can code it manually or we can use user interface okay so this third uh, okay uh, though, so this third step is called as mapping data flow okay the next one is four uh, we want to manage data pipeline ops using azure devops okay uh, then in the next step we will manage uh, data pipeline using azure devops okay uh, for this azure devops also supports github so so that we can develop our code incrementally and synchronize okay the next step is step 5 uh, once your data pipeline is created and deployed monitor it for success failure rates okay so uh, uh, using the azure monitor tool we can uh, uh, we can monitor our pipeline okay we can monitor uh, our pipeline uh, using azure monitor okay for the failure or success rate okay so uh, from this uh, all the steps what we understand is azure data factory is a set of interconnected systems okay that give you an end to end platform okay it will give us end to end platform including uh, pipeline activity okay uh, for your data engineering okay uh, so this will give us end to end platform for uh, the data engineering okay. now let's look at six main concepts of azure data factory okay uh, i have listed down uh, four okay uh, and i'll tell uh, two more later okay uh, so uh, the first one is pipelines okay so let's see uh, what are pipelines uh, pipelines are logical grouping of activities that perform one unit of work okay so uh, one an adf instance can have one or more pipelines okay this pipeline has a set of activities which perform one unit of work together okay next one is activities so uh, what are activities uh, it represents a single processing step uh, in the pipeline okay this activity is a sing single processing step in the pipeline uh, so for example uh, we have a copy activity so uh, we use this copy activity uh, to copy data from uh, one store that is one data store uh, from source to the other to the destination okay that is copy activity uh, next one is data set what is data set this data set represents data structure giving select view to the data store so uh, this represents data structure uh, how the data looks like okay so uh, you can see here points to the specific data subset to use in activity this uh, data set points to the specific data okay uh, this is used for input and output okay uh, the next one is linked services okay what are linked services this linked services represent connection information okay uh, to link azure data factory to external services it has all the connection uh, for example we have a sql server uh, we want to connect it to the ADF. So uh, we need a connection string. So this uh, linked services represent that connection string. Okay. And uh, this link service works closely with data sets. Okay. This works closely with data sets. Okay. Uh, this link services uh, specifies how to connect. Okay. It specifies how to connect. And the data sets specifies what actually the data looks like. Okay. And there are two uses of uh, linked services. The first one is represent data store. Second one is represent compute compute source. Okay, two main uses of linked servers: represent data source and represent compute source. Okay, uh, the data source is for ingest. Okay, ingesting different kinds of data. Okay, from different sources. Represent compute source. Uh, this is required for transformation. Now let's see the remaining two main concepts the fifth one is mapping data flow and the last one is integration runtime uh, let's see uh, the meaning of uh, matic mapping data flow now uh, using mapping data flow uh, we can create and manage data transformation graph that work on any size data okay so this uh, first uh, uh, the first one is uh, we can create and manage data transformation graphs okay and the next one is build up reusable library of data transformation routine routines we can build up 
a library of data transformation routines. The next one is execute transformation routines in pipelines as activity to scale. Okay, so uh, we can execute transformation routine in pipelines. Okay, the last one is integration runtime. Okay, what is integration runtime? Uh, it's a compute in infrastructure uh, used by ADF to provide fully managed. It provides uh, these uh, services. Okay, uh, fully managed data flows, data movement, activity dispatch, and SSIS package execution. Okay, it provides all four services. Okay, uh, so there are uh, mainly three types of integration runtime. Uh, the first one is self-hosted. The next one is Azure SSIS and the third one is Azure. So uh, you can use uh, any one of these three uh, integration runtime as per your requirement. Okay. So that's all about the six main concepts of ADF. So, so that's all about uh, Azure Data Factory. Uh, please uh, thank you for watching and subscribe to my youtube channel uh, my channel name is sunil ergop thank you thank you for watching